We've got about 160 acres to do here. It's the only place we can set up. Can't get out in that field, it's too wet. I was just having a little bit of connection issues. Stay on him, make sure you get stuff done. As it becomes light out, uh, Jason will show you guys the more details of that trailer. But I'm telling you guys, if you want the best drone spray trailer, get a hold of us, newwayag.com. We also sell the drones. We help you understand the system. That's the main man right there himself. You got these uh, boundary already, right? Yep. So it shouldn't take too long, this stuff. Be, yeah, it shouldn't be how many, how many different fields are we working with? Six fields, I think. Six fields, okay. Nice, two drones, flat. Is it flat out uh, there? Pretty flat. Yeah, mostly flat. Yeah. Shouldn't be too bad, a couple of little trees in the field. If you would uh, guess, how long do you think you guys would be out there? Probably be done by 10.30. Oh my. 11 o'clock. Yeah, knock it out. Okay, well guys, uh, you're gonna Ride with Jay and Landon this morning, going out there, getting those acres done. We just got out here. We got about 160 acres to do here. Got a couple fields on this side of the road and then a couple over here. It was really foggy coming out. We were kind of thinking we might run into some fog, but looks like it cleared up. So we're in good shape in this area. Got to mix up our chemical and we'll be ready to fly. Got my little brother, Junior, helping. Uh, he's going to be the ground guy today. We'll have to stay on him, make sure he gets stuff done. <laughs> He's helped one other day before, but not very much. It's like first time out here. We'll get into it. Yep, two repeaters. We're gonna send them back here. Got one field across that tree line back there, and then another one right here. It's a long one that goes way back there. I was having a little bit of connection issues with. Put two repeaters on there and we'll send them out. This is a 13 gallon tank on this one. Yeah, I see the extra. Yeah, it makes it a lot nicer if you got big fields, like long runs, yeah. where you can handle it. it. Doesn't, I mean, you still have plenty of battery coming back. I was gonna say no issue with extra weight. No, if you have a big field with long runs, yeah, you can have that thing completely full and still come back with plenty of battery. Right now we're running two gallons an acre. We bumped up our microns to 300 microns. It seemed like it was hanging. We had our microns at about 110 this morning. And it was no wind and we we're just kind of hanging there. So we bumped up our microns to get it to fall down better. So it seems like we're doing, it's looking pretty good right now. We're flying 32 feet per second, 10 foot above the crop. That's ideal, 32 feet per second. That's, that's full speed. If you got nice big fields like this, that's what you want to run, it's full speed. Let's see, we're almost done with this field, then we have another 55 acre field to do. Probably got about 25, 30 acres left. Something like that. About halfway done with this 55 acre field. Smooth running so far. We got the repeater up there. We don't have good connection, but it's the only place we can set up. Can't get out in that field, it's too wet and trees right here, can't get in there. So gotta do what we gotta do. So we're coming up over top of this tree. We have our RTH and our uh, connection route altitude set for 65 feet so we can get up and across those trees before, when we come back, so it doesn't run into the trees. Well, we just got this knocked out, about 160 acres. It's uh, 11 o'clock right now. We should have got done a little earlier, but the one drone, we were having some trouble with it. So we just had it sit on the trailer and we just used one drone. But yeah, we're gonna head back. I think we got some pasture spraying we're gonna do, knock down some weeds in a, in a sheep pasture. So we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.